Now we will talk about Golgi bodies. Golgi bodies are present in animals, but these are absent in plants. Or rather, we can say in uh, place of Golgi bodies, the uh, structure which is present in plants is the teosomes. We are talking about Golgi bodies. We are talking about the Golgi bodies. In plants, the Golgi bodies are absent. So, present in what? These are present in animals. These are present in animals. Golgi bodies are present in animals. But Golgi bodies are absent in plants or we can say in plants the name which is present is Dictyosomes. These are present in plants. In animals, the Golgi bodies are present. In plants, we call them as Dictyosome or Dictyosome or Dictyosomes. What and how these structures are? These are tubular, sac like, or even the you know like the this kind of sac like structure it is what it is tubular spherical sac like structure sac like structure You can see here tubular and even sac like structure. What is there inside the Golgi bodies? What is filled inside the Golgi bodies? There are certain, there are certain enzymes inside the Golgi bodies. What are there? There are certain enzymes inside the Golgi bodies. What is the function of Golgi bodies? What is the function of Golgi body? So, to synthesize, that means to make, okay, to make, to make, to store, okay, to store and at the same time to secrete, to secrete the enzymes. We are talking about Golgi bodies, the structures which is which a structure which is present in the animal cell. In plants, it is known as dictyosomes, and these structures are tubular, spherical, and sac-like structures. That means something can be filled inside this. Something can be filled inside this. So, what is filled inside this? What is there inside these are enzymes? And what is the function of Golgi bodies? It makes, it stores and it also secretes the enzyme. These are present in the animals and same is the function of dictyosomes in the plants. This was a very small 2-3 lines about the Golgi bodies and now we can talk about the next structure which is lysosomes. What are lysosomes? These are present inside the cell and is responsible for the inner digestion or the cellular digestion. These are responsible for inner or cellular digestion. Now, these are also known as suicidal bags. Why these are known as suicidal bags? Because if any organ, if any organ in the cell perform, fails to perform, if any organ fails to perform and the, that particular organ is not performing the function, then this lysosome digests that organ. Lysosome has that enzyme. Actually, it, is, it, it has got what inside that? It has got digestive enzymes, isn't it? It has... It has digestive enzymes. It 
it has digestive enzymes and it is responsible for the digestion of the organelles cell organelles or we can say responsible it is responsible for the intracellular digestion responsible for intracellular intracellular responsible for intracellular digestion whatever whichever organ fails to perform what does it digest when the organ fails to perform when the organ organelles sorry organelles fails to perform the function when the organelles are not performing properly fails to perform their function fails to perform function so such kind of useless organelles of the cell are digested by the lysosome lysosomes and how it is possible for them to digest it is possible because it has got digestive enzymes in it as it is filled by digestive enzyme and you know sometime if the lysosome burst the lysosome burst the whole cell will get digested because of the enzymes which is present in the lysosome function of the lysosome is to digest the cell organelles if the cell organelle particular organ uh, organelle is not functioning is not able to perform properly then the lysosome engulfs that material it is possible because it has got digestive enzymes in it and it is what this is only the function of the lysosomes so it is filled it is it has got what in it it has got the the digestive enzymes and that is the reason it is also known as known as i will write the full form it is known as suicidal bags of the cell these are also known as suicidal bags of the cells these are also known as the suicidal bags of the cell because if it bursts that the whole cell will be in, like it will be digested because it has got those enzymes in it here we have discussed about the golgi bodies and we have also discussed about the lysosomes what are golgi bodies golgi bodies are the structure which has got like it is it can make it can store and it also secrete the enzymes it is tubular spherical and certain sac like structure and the sac like structure is filled with the enzymes these enzymes are responsible for various kind of activity which takes place in the cell these golgi bodies are known as dictyosomes in the plant cell lysosomes are known as suicidal bags their function is to engulf or to digest the unwanted part of the cell this is uh, also this is these are also known as suicidal bags because if sometime when these lysosomes get burst then the whole cell get digested or the lysosome is responsible for killing a cell if it get burst so this was about the golgi complex and the lysosomes now we will talk about the next cell organelle now we will talk about centrosome what are centrosomes these are the small structures which are present just below the nucleus centrosomes we are talking about now centrosomes these are present only in animal cell present only in animals these are present only in animal cell 
these are actually what the small structure which is present just below the nucleus or near the nucleus present near the nucleus and these centrosomes have got centrioles centrosomes has centrosomes has got the star like structure okay these star like structures are known as what centrioles these are known as what central they are centrioles are present and these centrioles become active during the uh, cell division centrioles becomes active during the cell division becomes active during the cell division centrosome is the structure which is present in the animal cell it is present below the nucleus and it has got certain structures and these structures are known as centrioles and these centrioles becomes active during the cell division now these were uh, all like we have discussed about the cell organelles actually the cytoplasm also we have discussed cell membrane cell wall and different cell organelles like endoplasmic reticulum golgi bodies lysosomes and centrosomes all these we have discussed now we will talk about nucleus now we will talk about nucleus actually all the parts of all the components all the organelles all the structure of the cell are very very important all the structure of the cells are very important but if we remove nucleus if we remove nucleus from the cell this is a cell and this is the nucleus if we remove the nucleus from the cell then the cell will die then the cell will die so we can say that cell the most important part of the cell is the nucleus nucleus is responsible for all the activities which is been going on inside the cells definitely the whole structure each and every part of the cell is important but when nucleus is removed from the cell the cell collapse or cell dies so we can say that the cells are the the main the nucleus are one of the very very important structure of the cell now we will discuss about this part nucleus we are talking only about the nucleus so we will discuss about the structure of the nucleus how nucleus is nucleus now this is not made still completely nucleus will be like this it is a double membrane structure it is a nucleus is a double membrane structure i am making here the membrane it is we are making here the structure of nucleus it is double membrane and this one is known as nuclear membrane the membrane of the cell is known as cell membrane and definitely so the membrane of the nucleus will be known as nuclear membrane as you can see certain gaps over here these are known as these gaps are known as nuclear pores it is known as nuclear pore nuclear membrane gives structure to the nucleus 
nuclear pore allows the material to come inside the cell at the same time it allows the material to go outside the uh, nucleus the nuclear pore allows the particles the material to come from the the whole part of the cell to the nucleus and this pore again allows the the things the substance the material to go out of the nucleus that means it controls the entry and the exit of the molecules inside and outside the nucleus from this pores the material will go out and it will also it will also get in so this is what nuclear pore is inside the nucleus certain like chromatin material like this the chromatin material is present thread like structures are present which are known as chromatin material these are known as chromatin material these chromatin material is what actually it is the one which forms the which forms the chromosomes now what are chromosomes chromosomes are the thread like structures which are responsible for the transfer or which are the like which makes the species in each and every species the number of the chromosomes are fixed if the number of the chromosomes changes the species will change that is the reason we say that nucleus is the main part of the cell because it contains all these important things on the chromosome on the chromosome on these chromosomes certain particles certain particles are present which are known as genes these genes are responsible for the transfer of heredity material that means these are heredity material material due to cell division due to cell division these genes get transfer from one cell to the another cell to the daughter cells that is the reason when the cell divides when we talk about the the children or the siblings or why the, the the children resemble they are like their parents because of this genes these genes are known as the genetic material these genes carry all the information and these information is only transferred to the next generation and that is the reason why there is so much of resemblance in the children and the parents between the siblings we were talking about the nucleus nucleus is the very important nucleus is very important part of a cell it is present in the center if we talk about the animal cell in the animal cell the nucleus is present in the center it forms the major part of the cell when we talk about the plant cell in the plant cell as the big vacuole is present due to the presence of the big vacuole this nucleus get shifted to one side this nucleus get shifted to one side but in both the cells in the plant cell also and in the animal cell also this nucleus play the same role it is equally important in both the cells the nucleus has the membrane outer membrane which is known as nuclear membrane it keeps the nucleus the structure the part of the nucleus inside the nucleus it gives shapes to the nucleus there is there are pores in between the membrane these pores are known as nuclear pores and are responsible for the exit and entry of the material from the nucleus to the cell and from the cell 
to the nucleus. As you can see some material can be passed out through these pores and at the same time the material can get in through these pores. Certain chromatin material is present, these are in the condensed form, they form the chromosomes actually during the cell division the chromosomes can be seen. These chromosomes are thread like structure which are responsible for the transfer actually on these chromosomes certain structures are present which are known as genes. These genes are the heredity material and are responsible for the transfer of genetic material from one generation to the another generation. Inside the nucleus liquid or liquid is present. Uh, liquid is present it is filled with the liquid and the this liquid this liquid which is present inside this cell is known as nucleoplast it is known as nucleoplast inside the nucleus there is again a structure like this and this structure is known as nucleolus, it is known as nucleolus. This structure is known as nucleolus. So, this is the structure of the nucleus. Nucleus is main part of the cell which is present in both plants and animals and this is the liquid which is filled inside the nucleus which is known as nucleoplast, the part this one which is a central structure a spherical sort of a structure which is present inside the nucleus is known as nucleolus. Nuclear pore, nuclear membrane, nucleoplast, chromatin material all this makes the nucleus. When nucleus is removed from a cell the cell dies. Now we will write about the nucleus, it is, it is what is the shape of the nucleus, it is spherical or oval in shape, it is spherical and oval in shape and it is it is the main part, main part of the cell. Why it is main part? Because all the functions of the cell will stop if this nucleus is removed. Rather, we can say if this nucleus is removed from the cell, the cell will die. Where this nucleus is present? In which cell? Present. In both the cells, in both cells means plant cell also it is present and it is present in animal cell also. Plant cell and both cells means plant cell and the animal cell. I will just rub this. In the nucleus, Inside the nucleus, nucleoplasm, nucleoplasm is present inside the nucleus or nucleoplasm makes the body of the nucleus, it makes the body of the nucleus, it forms the body of the nucleus, a membrane, nuclear membrane is present, nuclear membrane what does it do? Nuclear membrane is the membrane which is present on the nucleus, it separates, it separates, what does it do? It separates the nucleus from the cytoplasm, separates the nucleus from the cytoplasm, 
from the cytoplasm. What else is present? Nuclear pore is present. Nuclear pore is present. These nuclear pores are what? Actually these nuclear pores are the gaps between the nuclear membrane and they are responsible, they are responsible for the exit and entry, responsible for entry and exit of material from the nucleus. It is nuclear pore responsible for entry and exit. I have not written, please uh, note the same. I have not written this point in a proper particular elaborated form, but just written in the form of a gist that it allows the materials to come to allow the material or the molecules to come inside the nucleus from the cell and it allows the material to go out of the nucleus. It also has a central structure, it also has a central structure which is known as nucleolus, central structure, I am not able to write over here, central structure which is known as nucleolus. Then we also have here chromatin fibers, these are chromatin material which is what actually these are made up of DNA, what is the meaning of DNA, DNA means deoxyribonucleic acid, this DNA makes the heredity material, this chromosomes are made by the DNA and on this these chromosomes the genes are present, uh, where to write, this is chromatin material then which makes the chromosomes and on the chromosomes what are present? Genes are present and what are genes? Genes are hereditary material, genes are hereditary material, these are hereditary material that means the characteristics of one generation passes to the next generation due to the presence of the genes on the chromosomes. So you all can see and understand how important nucleus is. It is present in both the plant cell and the animal cell and this nucleus is responsible for various activities which is going on in the cell's body. Now we have discussed about the nucleus, we started from the cell membrane, cell wall and other certain organelles structures which are present in the which are present in the cell. On the basis of the presence and absence of the nucleus, the cell can be divided into two categories which are prokaryotes and the eukaryotes. We will be discussing about that the prokaryotes, what are or what is the meaning of the prokaryotes and what is the meaning of eukaryotes we will be describing, we will be discussing about that. Just a gist of this, we have discussed about the centrosomes. Now this was about the nucleus and on the basis, what is nucleus? I hope you all have understood what is nucleus. Now we will be discussing something more about the structure. Uh, from the beginning, I am telling one thing that all these cells has a particular basic structure. All these cells will have nucleus, cytoplasm, Golgi complex, mitochondria, but on the, I am talking about the structure of the cell when like the normal, the basic cells, the, the eukaryotes. Now what are eukaryotes and the what are prokaryotes to understand that it is, it was very, very essential to understand all these structures. And so that is the reason I am taking this prokaryotes and eukaryotes after discussing these cell organelles.
So please note this so that we can move to the next topic that is the prokaryotes and the eukaryotes.